Welcome to game 16 in tournament 1 of Action PC Basketball 2019. Today's matchup we have Virginia, the defending champions, taking on Siena. Before we get to that, I'm going to recap games 13 through 16. We have Western Illinois taking on Cleveland State, Western Carolina took on North Carolina AT, and Florida Gulf Coast took on Charlotte. So first game was between Western Illinois and Cleveland State. Cleveland State won 49-35 in dominant fashion. For Western Illinois, they were 13 for 32 field goals, 6 for 12 from the three-point line, and 3 for 4 from the free throws. The leading scorer was Duff with 12 points. For Cleveland State, they were 18 for 35 from the field goals, 6 for 13 from three points, and 7 for 8 from the free throw line, with their leading scorer being Williams and Hill, each with 14 Scoring, it uh, it always starts pretty early. Cleveland State, it was right here. It was 20 to eight. Cleveland State, it was a big lead, and uh, Western Illinois hit a three, a three, another three here, and got it close. They were still down eight or seven at half. Second half, they were just struggling to score and were scoreless in the last 3:14 of the game, leading to a 14-point loss. For Western Illinois, Duff led the first half with 6 and led the second half with 6. For Cleveland State, Williams led the first half with 11 and Hill led with 7 for Cleveland State. So Cleveland State will be moving in. The second game was between Western Carolina and North Carolina A&T. Very uh, low scoring in the first half. It was only 14-13 and then Western Carolina turned it on and got away from North Carolina and won 37-28. Western Carolina, 10 for 29 from field goals, 3 for 10 from three-pointers, 14 from 18 from the free-throw line. Leading scorer was Dotson with 11. For North Carolina, 9 for 29 from field goals, 4 for 12 from the three points, and 6 for 11 from the free-throw line, with the leading scorer being Silla with 8. Looking at the scoring, it was all close in the first half, and second half... Uh, Western Carolina was just hitting their shots, and uh, North Carolina just couldn't make anything late in the game. And, you know, they just scored at times. They just they couldn't get a back-to-back -back possession scoring until late in the game. You can see right here, but easily was down. Looking back quarter, Dotson and Goslin led with four. In the second half, Dotson had seven in the second half. For North Carolina, Gantz and Jackson had four. Second half, Silla and Hamilton had six. So Western Carolina will be moving on. And then the final game was between Florida Gulf Coast and Charlotte. Uh, Charlotte had a one-point lead after the first half. Second half, their offense was not moving as they lost 36-26. For Florida Gulf Coast, they were 12 for 23 from the field goals, 3 for 6 from three-pointers, 9 for 11 from the free-throw line. Leading scorer was Casimir, or Casimir, I think you would say it, with 14. For Charlotte, 9 for 28 from field goals, 4 for 11 from three pointers and 4 for 4 for the free throw line with their leading score was Martin with 8. Scoring, it was pretty close in the first half and Charlotte had a one point lead. Turning the second half, the big reason Charlotte lost, they did not score in the last five minutes of the second half. At that point, it was a four point game and, and Florida Golf Coach only scored six points. So, if, Charlotte could have been back into it, but with no scoring, that's what led to their loss. So then we're the three, and now we will get to Virginia taking on Siena. I'll be playing at Virginia this game, playing at a neutral court. We will usually play the same here. I was looking at the court earlier. It's a very different looking court, um, especially... And the outsides here very nice looking we will go tightly defend our two guys outside we will cover actually we'll put everyone tight I like to all shoot three pointers they got this guy is pretty good that guy's pretty good and that guy we won't double team anyone and we'll crash the boards as always and here we go you might know a few people from Virginia 
Ty Jerome, Kyle Guy, Hunter Clark, and Diakite will be playing. And Sienna, you might know some, I don't know. Pickett, Camper, Seymour, Dagan, and Fisher. So Virginia will start with the ball. Ty Jerome will drive with them. Drum outside, Santa's weak inside, Rory right to the net, and scores. And I don't really know, if Virginia gonna, you know, are they gonna destroy Sienna? We don't know. And an offensive foul on Pickett. Guy inbounds for Virginia. Hunter inside, pump fakes, shoots, scores. Oh boy. It's looking, uh, I don't want to say anything like it's going to be a blowout. Same more look like he's going to fire three, guarded by Guy. Uh, same more outside the arc. It is stripped away by Guy. Guy takes the ball, and Pickett is his second foul. So Smith and checks in Smith for Sienna. Is gonna check in. That could hurt him. Pickett's their uh, point guard. Doesn't mean they're best player, but uh, what do we go here? Uh, when when I'm finally a team that I actually know some players on, you kind of just go, who do you shoot with? We'll go Diakite, top scorer for Virginia this year, and he's gonna score at six nothing. Smith and beyond the arc tied up with Diagite, seeing a ball. Fisher inside, covered by Diagite, and he double dribbled. <laughs> Timeout towards Sienna. Yeah, Sienna's struggling right now. They need to get something going. Hunter inside, short jumper, in and out. And Diagite with an offensive rebound. And we'll put that one right back up there. Good look inside. Scores. 8 nothing Virginia. Uh, looks like Smith and might fire three. He's a good three-point shooter. And Ty Jerome will get a foul there, his first. Fisher inside, covered by Diakite. Oh, he's fouled by Hunter. So now it's back-to-back -back fouls on Virginia. Oh, I thought there was another one there. Out of bounds, seeing the ball. Same word, beyond the arc, fires a three. Misses. Oh, it's in. Oh, it must have been Fisher with the tip in, and it's eight to two. Jerome Clark brings it up. Passes to Jerome. Jerome gives to Guy. Looks like Jerome might fire three. Jerome from downtown, followed by Smithen. Is first. Guy inbounds. Hunter in the corner. Outside. Fires. It's good. 10 to 2, Virginia. Seymour from beyond the arc. It's good. So Seymour hits a three. That's his first three. First points of the game. And it's 10 5. See what Ty Jerome can hit one. Jerome on the perimeter. Shoots a 15 footer. No good. And Fisher will come down with it for Sienna. Four on one. And an easy layup there for looks like Connor. I don't know what it is. Camper? Camper. And it's 10 7. Jerome. We'll drive with Jerome. It's stolen by Degman. Fisher inside. And he's going to have to call time. 10-7. Sienna's getting back into it. 3.50 left in the first. Smith in from outside. Fires a three. No good. Diakite gets the rebound. Guy from outside is going to pass it to Jerome. Diakite to Jerome. Bounces to Guy. Back to Jerome. And a foul on Camper. 
bounce is first. Guy in bounce. We'll go inside to DeAndre Hunter. Home on the wing is knocked to the floor, and Degnan has his first. Drum on the outside. Fires a three. Off the mark. Rebounded by Camper. Three on two. Degnan fires a three. It's not going to fall. Guy will get the rebound. Guy with the ball. Guy's going to take a shot from the outside. From long range. And it buries. It is 13 to 7 Virginia. Fisher inside. Short jumper. Swoosh. Santa is keeping Virginia in check here. Diakite, the ball inside. Short rainbow. And it's blocked by Smithen. Rebounded by Hunter, though. Hunter's just going to try to put it back up. Short jumper, no good. Fouled by Camper, though. So that's Camper's second. He will stay in the game. Oh, wait, actually, he might not. Hunter's first is a miss. Darwich and Smith and check Darwich in for Sienna. will enter at point guard, and Smith and will move over to shooting guard. Second one from Hunter is good. 14-9, Virginia. Degnan from long range. And it's good, a three-pointer. That's the second one for Sienna, and it's 14-12. See if Jerome can hit from outside. Jerome brings it up to Clark. Jerome drives baseline. Cut off by Fisher. Is he going to shoot for a jump shot? Can't get it to fall. Guy gets an offensive rebound and passes it back to Jerome. Guy with the ball. Passes it to Clark. Must selectively. Ah, uh, we only got one second left. Quick shot. Clark's gonna have to hit, shoot a three. But he was fouled by Seymour, and Clark's gonna get a one and one. That's gonna hurt for Sienna if they hit some, and Clark's gonna miss. But DKT is with an offensive rebound. Kite gonna try to put it back up, and scores. His sixth point of the day. 12.5 seconds remain. Dregnan, he's going to fire for another three at the buzzer. No good. At the end of the first half, Virginia 16, Siena 12. So after one is Virginia 16, Siena 12. It's a good start for Virginia and Siena just started to hit their baskets. Don't go anywhere yet. Virginia could could lose this and Sienna on the could court pull to off start the second half huge for upset Virginia in Jerome round one. Clark, Guy, Hunter, you know it's just Dye like Kite UMBC for Sienna, Pickett, Camper, want that to Seymour, Degnan, and Fisher. All upsets. Pickett brings the ball for Sienna, drops it to Degnan inside, short jump shot around the iron. Sienna might try to go for a lot of threes because they're down. And that's what could hurt him. Fast break here for Virginia. Guy has it, lays it up, and scores. 18-12. Pick it with the ball outside. Jump shot from the corner. And he scores his first basket. 18-14. Hunter. On the perimeter, jump shot. Off the back of the rim. But he was fouled by Degnan, his second. And Hunter will shoot two. First one's good. Second one is going to miss. Rebounded by Camper. Seymour might fire a three. 
Same word behind the arc sets up fires. Good. I don't know his first name. Let's find out. Oh, I can't look to a whistle. Seymour hits his three. That's his second. Hunter on the perimeter lays it up. Are you going to drive? Lays it up. Is it blocked? It is blocked by Fisher, but rebounded by Diakite. Diakite is fouled by Seymour. So four players on Siena have two fouls. It's a two-point game. Guy looks like he's setting for firing for a three. Sets, fires, and sets it. Kyle Guy with a huge three there, and it's 22-17. Same where he's going to shoot for three again. Air ball. What is rebounded by Fisher? Fisher is going to put it right back up around the rim and does not fall. Diakite with the rebound. Fast break for Virginia. Clark lays it up. He can't get it to fall. Fisher gets the rebound. And a fast break for Sienna and throws it into the front row. Yeah, I need a timeout. So it's Virginia ball. They're up five with seven minutes remaining. Who's got the ball right now? Diakite with the ball. Pass to Kyle Guy. Guy's going to shoot. Shot clock winding down. And he's going to score. So with a second left on the shot clock there, it is 24-17. Pick it from long range. And he's going to score. See, if he misses there, this is what happens when teams go down. They start shooting threes and they start missing. But Sienna is not. Guy's going to fire a three. No good. Rebounded by Fisher, and there's a foul on Hunter. Anthony, Katstra, Key, and Saul check in for Virginia. Smithen, Ratliff, Friday, and Chugong check in for Sienna. All right, so now we got a bunch of uh, subs here. Anthony, Katera, Key, and Osalt. Pickett on the perimeter, takes it to the hoop, finger roll. And this is a two-point game with five, just over. And he's going to shoot an and one. They could get this game to one-point game. And it is a one-point game. Wow. Sienna has fought hard this one. Jerome's going to fire a three and scores. Sienna fans are silent. Pick it. Jumps, releases. He's going to pass it to Friday, and he scores. Two-point game. We need to go to a strategy here. They might not stay in too long. Sorry. Um, ooh, Key's looking good in the corner. Oh, he's going to give it to Salt. Kicked ball, Virginia ball. Guy, Hunter, and Diakai check in for Virginia. Camper, they call Seymour, Dignan, That's funny. and Fisher check in for Sienna. Alright, so Salt's going to stay in. Clark's going to sit on the bench. And everyone will stay out there. For, everyone's coming back. All the starters coming in for Sienna. Jerome. He's doubled. Passes it to Guy. Guy's going to have to shoot. And it's a shot clock violation. Key checks in for Virginia. Key comes in for Diakite. Camper from the outside. Drives. And it's stolen by Salt. Four on one for Virginia. Guy lays it up and scores. And it's back to a four point game. Pickett brings it up. Dignan with the screen. Or, oh, he sets it for Pick it with a jump shot tied up with Jerome. Can't get a shot off, and it's a travel. 317 remaining. Virginia's up four. Hunter with the ball. is going to take a shot. Rises inside. And he can't get it to fall. But there was a foul on Camper. That's his third, and Hunter will shoot two. The 
the first one will fall. Five point game. Second shot also falls. Virginia up six. Fisher in the corner. Looks like he's going to set up for three. He does. And hits it. Fisher, not a three-point shooter, hits a three. And it's a three-point game. Sienna's five for ten now from the three-point line. Guy has the ball. Looks like he's going to take a shot from downtown. Passes to Jerome. To Guy. And it's knocked out of bounds. Virginia. Dyer Kai checks in for Virginia. Kide will come back in for... Key. Jerome with the ball. They're up three. Jerome fires from a three. Not going to fall. Pickett comes down with it. Pickett's going to bring it up. And oh boy. Sienna can tie right here. Pickett outside. He's going to give it to Degnan in the corner. Fires a three. And can't hit it. It is rebounded by Seymour though with an offensive board. Seymour's gonna shoot a short jumper and he scores and this is a one point game. 139 remaining. Jerome gonna drive. I have gotten a lot of shots. And Diakai checked in for Virginia. After I pass one time, it's like I run out of time. And Sienna could take the lead here with a minute left. Oh boy. Fisher inside. Posting up. Flips it up. Can't get it to fall. Hunter comes down with it. Fast break here for Virginia. Jerome lays it up. Off the side of the rim. Degnan came with the rebound, but stolen by Jerome. Virginia will send it back up. And they could just burn some clock here. Hunter's gonna... From, what's going on? All right, there's a foul. I thought they were shooting. Uh, do we have a free throw lineup? No. Virginia milk in the clock. Oh no, we have to shoot. Quick shot. With uh, Jerome. Jerome has to take a quick shot. But he's fouled by Pickett. 20 second, 22 seconds remaining. Who is their best free throw shooter? Clark's pretty good. He's an 83. Guy is an 83 too, so we want to give it to one of them guys. Guy inbounds for Virginia. Um, let's give it to Clark. And Camper grabs Diakite, I believe, there. 20 seconds remaining. Give it to Clark. Diakite in the corner, they're going to foul him. And Diakite will shoot in the bonus. He's a 70%. 18.9 remaining. The first one is good. The second one is not going to fall. Oh boy. Oh boy. But Hunter comes with a rebound. Huge rebound there. You may not select pass with the quick shot turned on. Well, I can't turn it off. Well, I'm going to have to take a shot. Yeah. And Camper is going to be fouled out. Smith and checks in for Hunter's Sienna. Hunter's from six on the line today. It's a two-point game. He's a 78%. First one. No good. That's huge for Sienna. Oh, it's a bonus. I forgot it's a bonus. I thought it was a shooting foul. So, Smithing gets the rebound and Christian calls time. Timeout focus. Uh, defense. Oh boy. Degnan inbounds for Sienna. Fisher. No way does he shoot a three here. P 
kick it from beyond the arc? Final score, Virginia 32, Sienna 30. What? Wait, what? There was a foul. Was the foul after the game? What? Whoa. whoa. Well, Virginia wins. 32 to 30. But I... There was a foul. I can't go back and look. So there was a foul at the... Oh, here we go. So... Pick it from beyond the arc. Spin moves takes it to the rim. It was an offensive foul on Pickett. And time must have been ran out right there. And Virginia survives. Wow. So Virginia wins 32-30. 12 for 22 from the field goal. 3 for 6 from the three point. 5 for 10 from the free throw line. Leading scorer was Guy with 12. For Sienna, 12 for 21 from the field goal. 5 for 11 from three pointer. And 1 for 1 from the free throw line. Not enough free throws for them. Leading scorer, they had Seymour and Pickett with 8. Scoring, I mean, you just saw this was all the way down to the wire. Sienna could have, I thought they were going to hit a 3. But they tried driving, but Pickett had an offensive foul. Sienna hit some huge baskets, but they just could not get the lead. For Virginia, Diakite led in the first half with six, and Guy led with nine in the second. For Sienna, Fisher had four in the first, and Pickett led with eight in the second. Wow. An offensive foul there is what caused it. I, I saw Fisher from beyond the arc, and then it said, fasten your seatbelts, gang, like there was a shot, and then I heard a whistle, like, there was a foul, and the game just closed. But Virginia will hang on 32 to 30. So that's going to be it for this game. And in the bracket in the description below, you will see the next game that I will do is between VCU and Texas A&M. I think there's uh, there are two or three games before that that I will recap. And it was Lamar and Providence is the next one. And there might be another one. I don't know which one it is. But I will see you next time for VCU in Texas A&M, which will be a very good game.